excited to give you the first glimpse today of the design direction that we're headed in for the Buffalo Borough. You guys know that we're going for like a European country house style, a new house built to feel old on a budget. Yes, it sounds hard to me too. And we have hit plenty of obstacles along the way, but it's been such a fun journey after renovating and moving so much to create a haven for our family for a longer period of time. So I've had so much fun pouring myself into the design. Today I'm gonna to give you the first look at the colors and feel that we're headed for, and I wanna take this opportunity to talk you through how I go about creating a whole house design vision when I tackle a new space. We don't want every room to match, but I want every room in a home to feel cohesive, like one flows into the next. So with each project that we've tackled, the very first thing that I do is create that entire house design vision and color palette before I think about any rooms individually, and then I design the rooms from that. When I go about creating that whole house design vision, there are a couple of steps that I take or that I think through. And the first thing is that I find my inspiration. Sometimes it's an image I come across, sometimes it's colors found in nature, whatever it is, I have one thing that is inspiring the project. And there was one image, you guys, that when I saw it, it was like, that is the feel that I want. What I loved about the space was not just the colors, but the overall feel. I loved the neutral olives and sages in the space. I loved the pops of kind of old blue and white classic. Um, but I loved the layered woods, the creamy backdrop, and the just natural textures that you see throughout the space. And that immediately was like, y'all, that's what I'm going for. That's what I want. I want this layered, old, natural texture, lots of different types of woods, and I want olives and sages, blues and whites against a creamy backdrop. So that one image captured my attention and inspired the color palette. Once I have a general feel for the direction that I'm heading in with color and feel, there's one huge thing that I start to think through you guys, and that is contrast. More than anything else in a space, I want my overall design plan to be filled with contrast. What does that mean for me? You guys know that I love my creamy white walls, but I love layering that with rich textures that are gonna anchor your space. There's one area that looking back at my previous projects, I can see was always an afterthought and was neglected, and that was the flooring. While every project that we've ever done, I'm so happy with how it turned out. The floor has always been a design challenge I had to overcome instead of a very purposeful part of the design plan. And that is because I don't think about it until I've already formulated my entire design plan and then I'm choosing a stain for floors as an afterthought on the back end. Like, oh, I love dark floors, let's try dark. Or, ooh, let's go this natural honey color. And I'm not thinking about how it plays in with that overall design plan. And then that creates a challenge. When I started looking at floors, there were a few things that we considered. I wanted something durable for our family, toddlers, and a Great Dane. I wanted something that had age to it, that looked old with the texture, possibly a wide plank floor, but I also wanted something in the light family. Talking about contrast, I knew that I wanted this creamy backdrop to my space so that my furnishings could be rich and anchor the space and be contrast. For me, if the walls are super dark or the floors are super dark, that's a giant backdrop to your space, so everything else is gonna need to be light to balance that. So, knowing I want my rich rugs and furnishings, I wanted to go light with the floors. I was super drawn to images of these old homes with white or whitewashed planks. I loved the look of that with the creamy walls and then picturing all of my goodies just layered on. So I started looking for that and was so excited when I found the brand 20 and Oak. They have a lot of different amazing types of floors. What I was super drawn to you guys is their veranda collection and there's a couple of reasons. We love the idea of an engineered floor that's not going to warp and have issues in our humid climate, a lot of the issues that we've had. Um, but we also wanted the ability for it to be sanded and refinished down the road if we wanted to change the color or 
more likely if it had sustained a decade's worth of damage from <laughs> our crazy family and pets and we needed to repair it. So what I loved about the Veranda collection, you guys, is that it marries both of those things. It's, they're super wide planks, they're wire brushed, they look old with texture, and I fell in love with them. I ordered our free samples. I actually ordered some extra samples. You get three free. I ordered more beyond that so that we could see all the color range. I checked out dark. I checked out a lot of different things. And what we narrowed down, you guys, there were two that we both really fell in love with. So the first one is this light beauty here this is cotton field um, it looks a little different maybe on the camera than it does in a large section as I saw on pictures on the website but another one that we also love is sweet grass so it has a lot of texture to it it's light as well so here is a look at both of these floors with some of the colors and finishes that we're picturing for the space super light so it lets me go as rich as I want with color sweetgrass is a little bit darker and so that may cause me to go a little bit lighter in the shades of olives and things that I want so that the space doesn't feel too heavy to me so that there is some lightness to counter these not dark but darker floors but I'm so excited to head into our local retailer next week to check out large samples of these because as I saw in pictures on their website the large samples look different than this so since we are still deciding we are going to go check it out at the local retailer hopefully those big samples are going to make our decision right now chris and i both have a favorite and it's opposite can you guess which is my favorite and which is his <laughs> And what's y'all's opinion? Would love to hear y'all's opinion on these choices. A huge thanks to 20 and Oak for working with us on the floors for the Buffalo Borough. I know they're going to be beautiful whichever way we go. Cannot wait to see this design unfold. <music>